Hello, as we move into October, I wanted to spend just a few moments sharing a greeting, reassuring you of my care and my prayers, and acknowledging, first of all, that these days, well, they're not getting much easier, are they? Having travelled through six months of something like lockdown and over these last few weeks and months, having been negotiating all that comes with reopening some of our premises, I just recognise how tiring these days continue to be. And part of what makes them continue to be tiring, I suspect, is that we just don't really know how long these uncertainties will continue. It looks like they may be with us for uh, another six months, if not more. All of that is uh, stressful and tiring. Sometimes the tiredness is almost beyond our explanation, isn't it? It could be the tire, tiring nature of Zoom. It could be uh, just the tiredness that comes with uncertainty and not being quite sure of how our ministry is to be offered in these days. But I recognise that for many of us, for all of us, tiredness is a feature of these days. And so I want, first of all, to encourage you to be really careful with your diaries. We talk of uh, ministry, healthy ministry, having 12 sessions of ministry a week within it, two sessions a day for six days a week. Many of us perhaps struggle to contain it within that uh, format, but I would encourage you to look at your diaries and to see where you can make space afresh for your renewal. Time to spend with your families, time to spend doing something that gives you energy. But do carve out that time in your diary. No one else can manage your diary as, as you can. Uh, and I want to encourage you and in a sense, uh, perhaps almost give you permission, if I dare, to be taking hold of your diaries in that way. Um, secondly, I just wanted to mention something that we talked about in the superintendent's Zoom this week. Uh, which is around uh, travel expenses, acknowledging that over these last six months uh, you will still have had the car in the driveway or the garage, but you won't have been driving it anything like as much, and therefore the expenses that you received uh, will have reduced. Now, some of that is compensated for the, by the fact that you've not needed to spend uh, money on petrol. Uh, but the 45p a mile, very practically, is intended to pay for some of the upkeep of your car as well. Uh, and uh, I agreed with the superintendents that I would just bring this to your attention and to say that if for any of you that has started to cause some uh, discomfort and some pressure on your finances, then please don't hesitate to come to me and we can have a discussion about how any of that discomfort might be alleviated. Thank you so much for all that you are offering to the church within your circuits within this district in this time we really appreciate it i really appreciate your ministry and your care and your conscientiousness but do be careful watch out for yourself and i hope within your circuit teams you can watch over each other in careful love also and if there are any concerns, please do come to me and let me know. I want to uh, be here for you in whatever way I can. Thank you. Let's pray. Almighty God, in the power of your spirit, we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice but we do so knowing of your perfect love and your amazing grace, your desire for us to have life in all its fullness. So strengthen us to serve you and gather us and all people into the perfect ways of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God bless.